Welcome Aquarius, Rose Burnett here, Mind, Body, Soul Balance. This is your uh, mid-month tarot forecast for January 2022. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year break and hope 2022 is amazing for you. And those of you having birthdays, happy birthday. So we're diving straight in. We're going to be doing predictions. And first up, let's pull you an opening energy from the Enchanted Map Oracle. And... Uh, Yes, I've had a couple of months off myself, needed a bit of a break, and uh, I'm back. What is it Aquarius needs to know at this time? Interesting, you've got two here. Oh. You've got the Golden Palace, which represents uh, good fortune, abundance coming into your life. It's also about not measuring your self-worth with what you materially have, yeah, knowing that you are abundant in terms of self-love, family, friendships, um, how you show up in life, but certainly can pretend to material gains coming your way, good, good fortune coming your way. And you've also pulled details, uh, which is very much, it's all about planning for the future. Uh, watching the fine print on things that you're signing, uh, paying attention to the small things that you're doing because it can create a lot of momentum towards your goals, your dreams. There's a compass point there. So very much can be getting more clarity about your path, your steps forward. All right, going to put you some guidance from the uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot in terms of predictions. And let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. Right, you get two here. You've got the ego coming out, which can represent a false sense of entrapment, holding yourself stuck in some way. Uh, you know, Archangel Michael's here cutting through the chains. So Spirit's saying you can release yourself from those bonds at any time. It's often what you're saying to yourself, fears holding you back. And you've got the three of earth, which is doing what you love, being known for your high quality work. So if you, you're procrastinating on doing what you love, Spirit's saying you have the freedom to do whatever it is that you want. And you've got the nine of earth, which represents self-made success. Uh, for those of you uh, in terms of in self self-employment, your money coming in, the ability to buy yourself something nice. And you've got the two of earth, a lot of earth energy coming out, juggling, doing too much, uh, need to create more balance in your life. And you've got the eight of water. He's got the open door. And he's leaving all the cups behind. He's traveling very light, just got one cup in his, his uh, little knapsack here. He's taking his faithful companion with him. So wanting to make big life changes, some of you, traveling, moving, relocating, changing careers, seeking more fulfillment than you're currently experiencing, particularly around life, career. And you've got the Knight of Water. He's rushing in on a horse with his cup spilling everywhere. You can represent passionate new love rushing in. Uh, very romantic. Either uh, someone offering their cup to you or you offering their cup to them. Particularly those of you who are looking for new love. And you've also got the Justice card, which can represent karmic justice coming back into your life. It can represent anything you're going through in the legal system. Certainly working out fairly when you act with integrity, honesty, your values. Okay, that one's flying out. Wow, very similar to the other one. Uh, you got the ten of air, again the open door, leaving all the heavy burdens behind. Can, but the luggage is packed. So been going through some deeply challenging times. Spirit saying it's over, my loves. Uh, whether it was wanted or unwanted in your life, there's changes happening, with creating new beginnings, walking out that door and closing the door behind you. And you've got the six of fire, which represents victory. So being recognized for your hard work, success, promotions coming in, awards.
And you've got the eight of earth, a lot of earth energy coming out. So working hard, toiling, a lot of coins there, working on your coins. For some of you, it represents going back and studying or you're coming to the end of your study. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the Muse Tarot. Firstly, let's have a look at the ego here, where there's a bit of a false sense of entrapment going on. You got the four of materials. She's hugging her roses close to her chest. So a focus on creating more financial stability, wealth and prosperity in your life, long-term planning. Spirit's saying that's going to help you to move past any states of feeling stuck. And you've also got the aid of materials, which is being known for your expertise, your wisdom, your experience, your high quality work, particularly around your career. Let's have a look at doing what you love. Any guidance there? Your three. You got the uh, priestess, which is often the high priestess. Yeah, is seeking your spiritual guidance. A lot of signs, synchronicities. There is trusting the messages that come to you from spirit. You are also going through a tower moment, so things be breaking down to be reborn. You may have gone through a significant life event, creating major change in your life. And you've also got the 10 of inspiration. So Spirit's saying, whatever you're going to work on, my loves, is you can't fill every cup. Choose one or two in terms of where you want to put your time and your energy and focus on those. Uh, let's have a look at juggling too much, doing too much, needing a bit more balance in your life. Uh, you've got the ace of materials. If I bring it close, right, there's all these little pebbles around the outside, which re represents your ideas. And Spirit's saying whatever you kick off right now is going to bring amazing abundance and prosperity into your life. And you've also got the three of materials, which is partnering up with others, not doing everything yourself, the opportunity to collaborate, to create what you want. All right, we've got two messages here about leaving the burdens behind, things that haven't worked out, opening up that door to a brand new fresh start. What is it uh, Aquarius needs to know here? Mm, you got the three of voices. So some of you have gone through certainly a, a, a significant life event that's created some grief and stress and loss in your life, which is probably triggering this big transformation going on. And you got the nine of materials, which is this beautiful self-made success. So You've been working really hard. Spirit's saying you're going to come to this place where this abundance is going to roll in for you. Some of you may already be in this place or working towards it. All right, let's have a look at this love rushing in. <laughs> okay. Wow. Interesting. You've got the seven of voices, which can represent manipulation, deception, the sly foxes there. So just watch the intentions of others around you, particularly love interests. There is an open door there. This could be something that's coming towards you or in the past. You've got the five of inspiration where it's very much about watching you don't fall down the rabbit hole in terms of how you treat others on your path. Yeah. So if you've gone through situations in the past in love where there's been deception, don't paint everyone the same way. Yeah. Not everyone's like that. And you've got the six of voices, which is she's being held, an angel's holding her up, yeah, and she's about to take a leap of faith. Overcome a lot of challenges. So in terms of love, it's about a brand new fresh start for some of you. Mm -hmm. All right, any other guidance here for Aquarius? Yeah, you've got the five of materials. So some of you feeling a little bit hopeless and a, bit, a little bit lost around your money, your financial situation right now, and yet there's an open door, which means you need to raise yourself up, arise, my loves, and see the opportunities around you. And you've got the ten of emotions, which is this beautiful sense of celebration, connectedness with family, with friendships. Any other guidance there? Yeah, you just have to bring yourself into this beautiful watery energy of balance, emotional balance within self. All right, let's put you some messages from your angels. Well, you've got diversity. It says the world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You are special and much loved. So not having to be the same as everyone else. Following your own path. 
being true to you. You've also got Archangel Michael. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles out of your way. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. You will achieve your heart's desires. So if your path feels like it's been blocked, things have been really slow, it's going to shift forward. And you've also got trust. Trust that all will work out well. We, your angels, are here to nurture, protect and heal you. Trust in the healing power of our love. We love you more than you will ever know. So a lot of divine protection around you, particularly those of you who have gone through a very challenging time. All right, let's pull you some energies from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. What is it Aquarius needs to know at this time? You got a message to catch your breath. So pause, take some time out for self, quiet time. And again, another message, take a leap of faith and go after what it is that you want. Trust your ideas, number 22, which is an angelic number. And some of you are definitely feeling emotionally vulnerable at this time. So you've got to, you've got to recognize that and take time out for self to rebalance yourself, yeah. All right, next up, we're going to dive deeper into your general energies. And I will just say my personal readings have been are closed for a little while. They have just reopened. So if you want a personal reading with me, just reach out. I'll put my email address down below in the description box. Uh, they're one hour long, pre-recorded, so you get your own video recording that you can download and watch over and over again as many times as you like. Deeply transformational, motivational, inspirational. So if you need extra support and guidance at this time, Info is down below. All right, let's pull your essential energy from the journey of love, Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. Oh, this is interesting. You've pulled the bride presents herself or offers herself. I mean, whenever we offer ourselves, it's often in service to others. Yeah? Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aquarius, there is a sacred offering taking place, an offering of the divine feminine. She is offering herself to the mystery unfolding. It may manifest in a physical way that a woman of great feminine wisdom is offering to you her friendship, love, spiritual companionship or service in some way. It may manifest as a spiritual gift from the divine mother in the form of a life circumstance or situation whether it is immediately recognized as a gift or not. To accept this offering as the bridegroom accepting his bride with love, reverence and respect will bring good fortune. So this oracle brings you a message. Accept what is being offered now, whether it's through a challenge or an easing of the way forward. There is a gift of grace from the Divine Feminine reaching for you now. Allow her in and be blessed. This oracle also heralds a time of importance in relationship. You have been revealing yourself and not being afraid of who or what you are, sharing yourself in willingness to connect. Your vulnerability and beauty is acknowledged and will attract the response you need at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Every bride shall have her bridegroom. So multiple messages to that, yeah, whatever. Take whatever you feel resonates with you. And there's a poem here. It says, how careful we must be and there's a poem here which says, How careful we must be close, how fragile we must feel, how sad not to be when someone is real. To say approach with caution when we already know that inside there's a likeness and experience go slow. It certainly speaks to new people coming into your life, yeah, whether it be a feminine presence, whether it be a new love connection. All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus with the Sacred Destiny Oracle and then you lots of clarifiers. You've got a gateway opening up, a portal opening up. It'll be different for each of you. Certainly will speak to opportunities, can speak to personal growth. And definitely need to take action and move yourself forward. Any Out of any states of procrastination, working on your goals and dreams. Oh, and there's absolutely blessings coming into your life. They've messaged that blessings are coming. 
It's also in your opening energy and your predictions. And the freedom to do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, let's pull you up some clarifiers with the uh, energy oracle. Let's just amp this up some crystals. And if you enjoy my readings, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel. Plus the videos for your star sign. You'll get notified when they're out. All right, let's have a look at this gateway opening up. Okay, you've got an attachment here. It's all through your predictions. There's things you need to release from self to open up to new beginnings, new experiences, holding yourself stuck. Mm, see, so some of you, there's this is your solar plexus, your vitality. So some of you may be feeling like you can't do what you, you want to do right now because you may be experiencing some poor health, some illness, some injury. It's about, you know, just taking those steps, whatever steps you can take to improve your health and well-being at this time. If you, ha It can also mean that if you've been in poor health, it's returned to good health. We always co-create that by the actions we take. And you've got your heart chakra here. So Spirit's saying whatever choices you need to make, whichever way you want to move forward, trust your heart to guide you. Because mm, the door to personal healing and happiness is open. You can certainly represent return to good health. Emotional healing going on. Let's have a look at this attachment. Oh, Spirit's just calling for you to rely on your strength at this time. Whatever you're going through is going to pass. Let's have a look at taking action. You got the door to value opening. You've got to co-create that spirit saying you're to, to do what it, you can do as well to open that door to your money. And there's things you need to walk away from. I'm just going to say states of being, old things that didn't work out to move forward. Because mm, you've got a bit of a storm warning going on here. Let's explore that. Why is there a storm warning there? Oh, Spirit's saying you just got to bring yourself into balance. There's a lot about self coming through where you just have to manage your emotions and your energy levels, your mindset. Let's have a look at these blessings coming in. Oh, you got the sun coming out, this beautiful shift in positivity, renewed hope, optimism, your plan's working out perfectly. You've got yin and yang again, number 22, that's come out for you again. Uh, taking a leap of faith, letting go of the old, being in a state of balance and wholeness, when, knowing when to rest, when to take action. When to receive. There's two here. There's a message to trust your intuition, particularly on what you need to walk away from because it's sitting directly under that. Trust your heart. And you've got the garden and the gate, which is holding yourself back a little bit from life, a little bit of confusion going on, possibly a little bit of tentativeness in terms of putting yourself out there. And Spirit's saying, be the thinking woman, girls. Be very balanced and rational out of your emotions. All right, let's have a look at the freedom to do whatever it is you want. you got woman holding a coin here. So whatever path you want to follow, Spirit's saying, it's up to you, Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Big message coming through for the girls there. Uh, you got the door to spirit opening. So Spirit's watching over you. Some of you connecting more to your spirit spiritual side and you've got the world here so cycle completions brand new fresh start expansion opportunities coming your way for some of you it's travel relocation oh, I was hoping this was going to come out and here it is you got woman holding a coin man holding a coin so same message for both you have the freedom to Follow a path of your own choosing to create create your abundance. Oh, darlings, wait till you see her. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep, cornucopia coming in. Success on every level. Whatever success means to you. Number 11, brand new beginnings. Joy, happiness, good health, abundance, wealth, prosperity, happy family life. Everything you're working towards coming together for you. 
Let's have a look at more guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. How long is this top row about this gateway opening up? For some of you, it's a lot to do with personal healing, emotional healing, physical healing. There's a focus on your home. You got Vesta home. It was all through your predictions. Buying a home, selling, relocating, doing up your home. Someone moving in, moving out. And you got Sarasvati the art. So Spirit's saying in that quiet time to do some artistic things because it's going to really help with your healing process, whether it be music or art. Again, you got the message to take a leap of faith and go after what it is you want. Let's have a look at uh, take an action to open up your door to your money. Walk away from whatever you need to walk away from and bring yourself into balance. Yeah, you got a star of fertility. Perfect time to kick off those new ideas, business ideas. New projects, new careers, anything you want to work on right now. And you've also got Hathor re receptivity. So you need to balance what you're doing with allowing yourself to receive, particularly from the universe, help from others. Let's have a look at these blessings coming in, the sun coming out. A lot here about being very balanced, practical, sensible, trust in yourself. Oh, this is beautiful. you got Sedna, infinite supply. Your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of your tomorrow's divine protection. And you've got Maeve, cycles and rhythms. You just need to watch your energy levels and your emotions. They're a little out of whack, <laughs> Aquarius. They are. All right, let's have a look at the freedom to do whatever it is that you want in terms of bringing your coin in, your cornucopia in. Oh, you got power, divine passion. Just be really honest about what you want, what's your heart's desires, and go after it. Always a conscious choice. You got Ishta boundaries. So love yourself enough to say no to the demands on your time and energy, but others you really need to focus on you, Aquarius. And another message you need to balance what you do and take quiet time out for self. All right, let's put some guidance from the crystal reading deck, which is a healing deck. Having a look at the top row about this gateway opening up. For a lot of you, it's around your health, your well-being, your home life, your physical home. Oh, you got Morganite relationship healing. So there's an opportunity to heal relationships if you want to. And you've got the Herkimer Diamond Dreams. So listen to your dreams. You may get subliminal messages in your dreams to help you with your path. Let's have a look at taking action, particularly around your ideas, opening up your door to your money, bringing yourself into balance. Oh, gosh, darlings, in the same row, you've got to take action. Do not sit still, my loves, unless it's to rest and rebalance your energies. It's the time for moving forward. <laughs> I was going to say that you got relaxation. So it's a double whammy going. It's like literally following each other around your reading as we do it. So take an action and resting. You've got to balance the two. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your blessings coming in, which Spirit's saying you're divinely protected right now. Oh, darlings, I could have written this reading just as I'm saying the words, right? The cards are coming out. You've got black, black tourmaline, divine protection. More confirmation, spirits watching over you. Yeah, there's a big focus on your body right now, your healthy body, A-gate. So you really need to pay attention to your diet, your nutrition, your fitness, your exercise, if you need to rehab injuries, if you need to be more gentle with yourself around an illness, you need to do that, yeah? When you do, it's going to bring success into your life. There's so much here about you listening to your energy levels and your emotions. All right, let's have a look at the freedom to do whatever you want, particularly around your coin. You want a copia here. Again, Ines, you need to take some quiet time out for self. you got new might healer. Some of you may want to follow a path of being a healer. For others, it's about seeking a healer to help you with your health and well-being. And you've got deep side Mother Earth, so getting out in nature would be very good for you. And guided meditation, spirit saying. So I'll link in the guided meditation playlist on my channel. There's about 95 or four of them in there. 
What's really channeling through is, is attachments you need to release. So do some around releasing attachments and just some that really relax your energy. All right. All you have to do with those, right, is to lay down, listen to them through, ideally through a speaker, and relax. That's it. As hard as it gets. Don't be doing cross-legged sitting or anything like that. Mm -mm, too hard. All right, let's please some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. You've got to embrace the masculine, so a need for you to take action. Oh, the masculine energy is our getting things done energy, our following through energy. It's our putting healthy boundaries in place with people. Number 11 coming out again for you, brand new beginnings. You've also got the message to show that you cared. So extending your love to those that are most important to you, giving them support. Uh, you've also got to observe in silence. So just watch people around you. Why is that there? Okay. And be patient. So that may mean just say, watching for signs, synchronicities from the universe, confirmation you're on the right path. Trust yourself, though. And you've got protect the wild and green. So you've also got Mother Earth here. Some of you are Earth angels. Doing your part to do what you can to protect Mother Earth. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance, which there's a lot coming out around your heart chakra, your intuition, your solar plexus, and a focus on your root chakra, which is your sense of security and stability. Or well, you got your lower back come out, so there's definitely attachments you need to release from the past, emotional things, experiences that didn't work out. Oh, here's your root chakra. Big focus on your sense of security, stability, finances right now. And vitamin therapy would be really good spirit saying. That will boost up your energy levels. All right, let's have a look at your spirit guidance, which is who you're connected to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents. Uh, you've got the gift of being a teacher in whatever way or shape that takes, yeah. Uh, you've also pulled justice. I think that's the second time it came out. It came out in your... Um, Pretty sure it came out in your predictions. So you may want to do something around, um, I mean, you can have karmic justice coming into your life in terms of balancing out situations from the past with blessings coming in. It could also mean that um, you protect the rights of others. And you've got community coming out. So connecting with your community. Some of you may be building a community. All right, let's have a look at career, your life path. Oh, some, this is all through your reading, yeah? Major life changes going in a new direction. So much in your predictions. Uh, you're a planner and an organiser, so you like being organised. It's a great habit to have. And you're highly creative, so trust those ideas. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy from the beautiful Pegasus Oracle. Mm. this is gorgeous you've got the white pegasus of the sacred waterfall i'm not sure if you can see him there but it's just a beautiful white pegasus there let's pull you up the guidance says aquarius release all that has been and be ready to be freed from attachments to the past no wonder you pull this it says otherwise those attachments may restrict your present moment choices and unduly limit your future fulfillment. You're being offered the spiritual gift of inner cleansing as an opportunity to clear your body, your mind and heart. To let go takes courage as well as trust that what rightfully belongs in your world shall be preserved and what is divinely destined for your heart shall come to you. Releasing the fear of letting go may first require you to heal painful experiences of feeling denied, deprived, thwarted, or abandoned in this or other lifetimes. You can then trust all that flows into your life. This healing will help create positive expectations of being loved and of receiving generous blessings, especially in the areas of your life where you felt the most challenged. To trust in your path and accept what is divinely destined for you, one must become willing to let go and be moved when the time comes. 
No matter how much you have suffered or how stuck you may feel, great clearing and healing is possible for you now. And this offering can wash away all that has been in a waterfall of white light. And if you allow for it, you shall completely overcome your past and rightfully claim a fresh new beginning, sealed and protected by loving spiritual grace. This is your time. So beautiful. There's, a, there's an affirmation here that says, Beloved Spirit Guardian Pegasus, thank you for helping me connect to the courage within that empowers me to let go and trust wholeheartedly in the goodness, the generosity and grace that wishes to manifest for my complete happiness and the spiritual benefit of all beings. So big message, my loves, to let go of anything that hasn't worked out, to be disappointing. So many blessings want to hope, open up for you, um, trusting your heart space to guide you, particularly in what you want to create in this world. Yeah. All right, take it easy, my loves. Those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel and you'll get my videos come through to you. And uh, don't forget, reach out for a personal reading if you need extra guidance to support my email address is on here. All right, for now, take it easy. Much love, much light. Namaste.